RPG Tie fans, welcome back to another episode of Empyrean Galactic Survival. This is your host, Zila, and we're here today doing the Alpha 9 Stable Branch with some latest bug fixes, hopefully. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. It's still, it's still a buggy Alpha. But you know what? It's fun. <clears throat> you can see that I have built some cargo containers. I haven't finished that one off yet, but... These are only 64 slot because they're using a controller, but this one that I'm standing on, you can see it is... I named it the... No, that's not it. This is it here. Not the large blocks. This is the construction materials. It can hold 320,000 storage units. That's the largest single container storage that you can get in the game right now. Um, we could technically put stacks of large CV thrusters in here. Uh, right now we're using up I mean, three percent of its of its uh, volume right now. So, but I don't have very large stacks in here. Once these stacks are like full, yeah, that number's gonna climb like crazy. <clears throat> and so the object here is I'm gonna fill this one completely up with basically construction materials, and then all the other whatever constructors can draw from it and then output to whatever else. I'm going to have multiple outputs. Um, also for my 64, I need 64 uh, slot containers and these small ones actually work perfect for that. So things that don't really have any, um, you know, like weapons that, that just take up a slot and they don't take up any any storage volume so yeah I'm gonna use small the small cargo boxes for that stuff and then the large cargo boxes for obviously stuff that needs the volume <clears throat> little ones for stacks that don't take up volume and the extended ones that do take up volume so that's how this game is kind of gonna work now uh, we're gonna we're gonna need both because you know it's you don't need to build a big ridiculous box like this if you only need 64 slots with no volume <clears throat> um, yeah, let's grab some food now I went around and did a whole whack of mining uh, Uh, I gotta make some unless I eat these. Uh, they're not worth that much food. Actually, I want to hold off on that. Let's, um. At least I have decent time, time on them. That's pretty cool. Um. We better make something then. So we can go into the constructor. Nope, not that way. <laughs> Gonna be right up to it. Pee into it. Yes, I said pee into it. Okay, so let's grab the fridge and we'll just output to the fridge. And we'll make, uh, I don't know, 10. <coughs> Turn that on. Actually, we don't need 10. Although we do need quite a few. Okay, so. That's now filling up the other fridge, or its its own fridge. It's filling up this fridge. It's too bad it doesn't auto refresh. I keep closing the window unless there's some unless there is a way to auto refresh, and I'm just being an idiot. I mean, you know, obviously F5 isn't gonna work, so. Um, I 
Okay, we're back up. We're back up. So, I went around and did a bunch of mining. This thing just doesn't have the capacity. Uh, I kept having to run for shelter. We consumed a ton of food because we're constantly having to fend off radiation. It's good for a starter. It's, you know, even a, a secondary after the fact starter but it's, it's more than just a starter but it's I didn't want to multi-tool it down for the next one I wanted to actually leave it so that we had a second HV available if we needed it with turrets on it um, yeah call me a cynic but I didn't need it I didn't need to multi-tool it down I didn't need the mats from it so I didn't what we're gonna spawn in is my 32,000 storage unit whole mole. Now, this was more or less developed in... Come on, let's come back here. I'm going to spawn it over top the, uh, the repair yeah. station. It's appropriate. So, this thing is mostly made up of storage blocks feeding one controller for the most part. Uh, I found I had actually two I had a regular cargo controller and then the harvest controller and with 16,000 liters and believe it or not I actually I actually outmassed it a couple times and had to shift stuff over to the other one and then and then I was drawing, the constructor was drawing from one and outputting to the other because, because I didn't have, I couldn't have the volume to put it back in. And it was just like, it was getting a little ridiculous. And I was like, you know what, if I just pop the controller out here, remove these blocks here and connect it all, it'll be all one and boof. That's what I did. So it has a little bit of sathium armor plating in the front. To help it uh, uh, weather the storm of Xerax that shoot at it as it drives by. It's got some self-defense for turrets in particular. It's got a lot of thrust out the back. Um, now it uses the box top design. I have pretty much everything it needs inside here. Nice and cozy. And if we need to, we can continue to put, we can put more regular cargo boxes and I'll probably do that. I'll put a, probably put a couple cargo boxes right in there, right there and there. <clears throat> and that'll give me a couple, uh, four more 64 slot boxes. Instead of one big massive volume box, I'll have a whole, I'll have a bunch of small slot boxes too so so we need we need a mixture of both and what we're going to do today is we're going to transfer some stuff to it we're going to fuel it up and i haven't powered the base yet so i think what i'll do is Okay, so let's move stuff over to the whole mole in the fridge one. And then from the base, we have a fuel container and we're going to fuel up the whole mole from there. There we go. Um, it has substantially more tanks. That's because it's it's a bit of a gas pig, but that's okay. We got a bunch of fuel now. It's not fuel isn't necessarily an issue anymore for us at all, really. Uh, okay, so now we have two HVs that are powered up with turrets. Now I can actually do some base work in this thing because it's got. A nice cozy little spot so all I got to do is just 
can jump out, spawn my drone. I'm all nice and safe and cozy in my little box there, see? And it, it can be oxygenated if I want to. And so all these drills can be retracted. All the guns, everything can be in, individually turned off. Uh, the reason I did that is just to conserve mass amounts of fuel. So right now, it's not taking up much at all. Uh, what's its consumption is 386. I mean, still quite a bit, I guess. I guess. It's because of other stuff inside there. So, the one thing I'm really concerned about at this point is this CPU rating thing. I mean, this is not a very big decked out HV at all. And, and literally, I'm three times over the CPU rating. So, obviously, they're going to adjust that because that doesn't make any sense at all right now. So. So don't be turning that on at all. That's I saw where it is in the in the YAML. So <laughs> I, I was like, oh, I should. Oh wait, no, I'm not going to turn that on. Okay, so I think we need to transfer a bunch of stuff over to here. Let's do. So the container controller for ammo can handle. Uh, that works out to 11,250 15 mil and it's got 32,000 even on its controller I actually remove blocks because I, I actually it doesn't stop you from putting too many extensions on which is kind of unfortunate it, I, I would think that it would give you the red indicator saying that you that you've got you hit your limit on extensions for that particular control unit so it's I would like to see that in the future actually it would be easier to build with <laughs> um, okay so we've got that let's convert or let's go into here we're gonna grab our construction materials we're gonna need a little bit of everything. Where's my wood? What did I do with that? Is that in, must be in one of the, okay, we don't need that much. 250 sounds good. We should be able to carry quite a bit. And we're going to gather a whole bunch. I mean, I probably don't need any right now, but we've got to make some ammo, so I do need some. Okay, and then we need the wood. So where did I put that? We should also grab a little bit of fuel. So let's go... See how heavy it is? Actually, let's do 10. Ugh, it's killing my volume. Killing it. <laughs> uh, should I grab a little bit of biofuel? I can put that on my person. Yeah, let's grab some. Grab 10. Okay. Okay, I don't really know why we got that. That's fine, that's fine. We've got ammo, we've got food on us, we've got fuel now, we've got that. Now we just gotta find the wood. Where did I put the wood? Uh, oh, that's interesting. Why did I have that in there? That must have went in there by accident that in there okay hmm I don't know where I put it let's go check let's go check 
think I might have put it in one of these though. Well, there's all my. Yeah, that's right too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I put it in there. Okay. So we got to do the connect to. So this time around, we're going to be doing the connect to with the uh, hole wall and not the ammo. We're going to do the ore and wood. And so we're going to select me and we're going to connect to that. So now that we're connected to it, we can grab this stuff. Whoa, that's heavy. Let's put that there. Um, although it's easier to fill up. I'm not going to be carrying much on me other than what's in here right now. Eh. Oh, we got to make a drill too. Let's do that in here right now while we have this. We won't need it that much anymore, but it's just, it's handy to have. I've already fried all my other, I've fried three drills now. So now I won't be frying through drills so much. Now that I got this uh, HV, it's going to be good. This is going to be good. We're going to go get a whole bunch of mats. We're going to get a whole bunch of stone and mats and yeah, it's going to be good. Okay. So let me just place that down in there. Uh, that, I don't even know what to do with it right now. We can, we'll, um, let's grab all this stuff. We need, let's just grab everything out of here. Or actually, no, why, why am I grabbing everything out of here? Why am I grabbing everything out of here? I don't need to grab everything out of here. I just need, just need the wood. I'll grab some of the fuel. A little bit of it. I'm going to go fuel hunting too, so. I don't need all this. I don't need all this. Okay. Okay, so we can just put that in here. And we should be able to now construct some ammo um, actually let's get the Gatling guns out we'll get the mini guns out okay let's go into our devices we've got our constructor we're gonna select our ore and wood uh, okay, so from here we can build our 15 mil bullets and just go directly into the ammo again. So let's do, I don't know, as much as possible right now. We don't have the iron for that, but we can get more iron. Okay, so another thing that oops come on let's turn that on there we go yay this thing is super maneuverable it uh i love it it's probably my to date my my best handling best built hv it doesn't auto level because it it also has the motorcycle the tricycle suspension let's call it and that's that's for mining uh it makes it a lot easier to mine with so with that in mind uh, let's bring out our weapons now we got to turn on no we just got to get into the weapons is all so what are we at we've got some here not enough not enough oh they already had some bullets in them nice okay 
Uh, I want to go in actually and check out what I got for settings on the turrets. Yep, that looks good. That looks good. Okay. Okay. Okay, so that's interesting. That can't be turned off though, so that's not a big deal. Okay. The drills are turned off, but the, the cargo container isn't. So the guns are active. Yep. Now this thing has four um, of the Gatling guns on the front. And because it can like shoot, I can like shoot straight up with it just with the RCS. As you can see, I can stand it straight up. And <laughs> there we go. We've got our own little hut. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> and then, yeah, crazy. Okay. I can also stand it strictly on its nose with just doing the RCS, just pulling the mouse forward. I can, I can even, you know what, if I, here, let's, let's get rid of the mini guns. Because they're just got to get rid of them, make it more streamlined. Now I can actually there. I had something weird going on because it was I pulled the turret in and it was all anyway. So I can actually, as you could see, I could actually do a. cartwheel with just by pulling the mouse come on whoops I'm that's why I got the wrong button going so there we go and so that was with how I didn't use the O button at all so like I say I can go completely upside down flip upside down and okay most vehicles you're screwed right most vehicles you're screwed I'm just gonna hit I'm just gonna pull on my mouse and boom <laughs> love it love it okay so another thing that's really good about this thing is oh you know what I gotta need I need to activate the drills Activate the drills because I'm going to show you why. Where is it? There was another one over here, wasn't there? Yes, right here. This big giant freaking rock. Okay. So it would take forever mine, mining these by hand. Let's. Switch to rock. Wow. That was quick. But it only grabbed... Did it grab... Did it grab at all? Because that doesn't seem like enough. Let's see. Let's see. Did it grab at all? Okay. It grabbed 148 in one shot. I guess that's enough. Whatever. 148. <laughs> Poof. Just like that. So we can get we can get stone real easy now with those big stone columns. There's another one. Not that we really need the stone anymore because I've gotten that large platform built now, but it's nice to have some extra here. Nice. See, I'm thinking I'm dropping one on the ground, aren't I? That seems like half the amount. 
That seems like half the amount that I get by hand bombing it. Huh. That's interesting. Okay, so if you do it the lazy man's way with a vehicle, then then uh, <laughs> I guess you only get half the amount. Okay. So we've pretty much uncovered everything on the northern hemisphere except for that little bit, which I don't really care about. So we need to go discover and dig. So why don't we... Oh, it's got 30, 100% on that medium. Why don't we go straight down? We'll hit this on the way. I don't have my turrets out right now because it's pretty unlikely that there's any drones in the vicinity. I haven't seen any around here. So I think we're going to be okay. Okay, so we've got our... set that to ground. There's not much left of it, but come in with this. Just get it. Just get this stuff out of the way here. There we go. Oh, don't, don't want those floaters. Can't wait to have the uh, lasers, because these T1s really suck. Okay, let's go into the cockpit view so we can actually see. Kind of. Not the greatest with the dust. I wish they wouldn't do this dust crap. It's really annoying. tell if I'm tipped upside down sometimes or not mining in that view I really hate what it does to our cameras now this stupid thing what is it doing see I know I'm mining it <laughs> I'm, I'm getting the iron I can see the iron coming in in bushels. Okay, so I think we're done. Stupid camera. Come on, camera. Are you just gonna be there? I was wondering, like, that's why, because I couldn't see what's going on. I'm like, why, why can't we move? Okay. So the camera is annoying. The camera is annoying when it does that. What I need to do is just get a little closer and come down a bit. That way it won't do that so much to me. But I don't really like driving like this. <laughs> okay, so what's the next thing on? We're going the wrong way. That's, that's, that's it here. Okay. So, I'll mine this up, call it an episode. This won't take much at all. Uh, I know we haven't done much this episode, but we did get the uh, whole mole brought in. And I'll be able to just like completely gather everything on this planet, except for anything close to uh, enemy POIs, of course, but hey. <laughs> okay, so we just aim down fairly steeply. Get 
into it here and then just wiggle around a bit. I'll make a bowl because it's uh, so close to the surface. Just keep grinding away here. So that was a medium one. I'm not sure how much is in a medium one. Trying to, it's trying to do stupid things with my camera again. I'm trying not to let it though. see this thing doesn't really bounce around that much at all. I mean, it's just... And to make it even smoother, you can just lower it just a tad. You don't want to go too low with this one, though. About two and a half is... Two and a half meters is about the lowest you want to go. Or else it, it will catch on things. See how nice and smooth it is driving it. It doesn't bounce around. It doesn't get stuck. It can turn. It can turn in its own tunnel that it makes, which is really important. I got something in the center there. That's why, because there's a big sharp coming up in the middle of us. Okay. We're almost done. Almost done. Now, if these were the the uh, T2s, laser drills, this thing we would have already been done on done the second one by now. So there you have it. It's done. Let's get out of here. Super easy. Now, how much was in there? Good question. Wow. Um. Lots. <laughs> so yeah, a third full already from that. That's why this thing is going to be great. I can go around, I can get potentially four more stacks or so. Whereas the other one, I couldn't, I couldn't do that. I had to keep running back. And... So there you have it, folks. Um, the whole mole with the 32,000 storage unit. I will publish this right now if I don't already have it published for you guys. So the where are you? HV whole mole 32,000 liter. Let's rename that. That's 32k SU Okay. Uh Yeah. Let's publish that. There you go, guys. So it's, it's a little pricey, um, but this thing rocks, this thing, this thing rocks. And later on, when you, when you want to put a multi turret on it, you can just pop the, uh, pop the minigun turret off the back and then put the multi turret on the back. Cause then you just back up to stuff and boom, jump in the multi turret, turret down, whatever you need. That way you keep the guns on the front where you want them. Okay, let's eat something. 
Well, guys, I'm going to go keep mining and collecting stone until and probably fill it up a couple times, bring it back to the base, empty it out, have a base full <laughs> of construction materials, and we're going to get that base really, really going here. I mean, I, I want to get it all built up, powered up with uh, turrets and everything, with constructors going. But I also need to explore too, so yeah. Um, next episode, we're probably gonna be base building unless I haven't finished exploring yet. Unless I find something really cool exploring. If I find something really cool exploring, I'll probably start the episode with that. So. Until then, you guys have yourselves an awesome, awesome day.